Nearly every culture has a strong tie to a specific sport. In the Dominican Republic, their culture is strongly tied to baseball. In the short time that I lived there, baseball was everywhere. More than just a pastime, this sport unites communities, generations, and the nation as a whole. The Dominican Republic is often neglected by the international media, and baseball is one of the only ways this small Caribbean nation can get any attention from the world. The World Baseball Classic is a case in point example. The WBC is a relatively young tournament, which can best be oversimplified as the World Cup of Baseball. While passion for the game is a requirement to be successful in any international tournament, the Dominican Republic does not have a monopoly for the love of baseball. In these types of tournaments, the winners tend to come from nations that are the wealthiest, have a large population to draw talent from, or receive government investment in developing athletes. The Dominican Republic is one of the smallest and poorest countries that competes in the World Baseball Classic. Despite these challenges, expectations were sky high for the Dominican team in the 2009 tournament. The 09 roster was chock full of talent, having many players who were major league all-stars. Many baseball commentators thought that the Dominicans would win the entire tournament. The team was carrying the hopes of the entire nation, not to mention the over 2 million US Dominicans who watched with anticipation. To a certain extent, other sports teams from small and poor countries were also cheering for the Dominican team. If the Dominican team could overcome the spell of poverty, then maybe they could too. This was supposed to be the DR's turn to receive a claim on the global stage, while also defying the wealth factor in international sport. <laughs> However, the Dominican Republic was humbled by the Netherlands. The Dutch had already beat the Dominicans once in the first round. If the DR lost to them again in this game, they would be eliminated. How about that? The Netherlands, 90 feet away from Miami. 90 feet away from another enormous upset. Danny Rombley's on deck. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball. This was a tremendous upset for the Dominicans. Losing one time to the Netherlands can be written off as bad luck, but two losses is an inexcusable embarrassment. It's the Netherlands against the Dominican Republic. Beaten once already, Felipe Alou said we should have beat them. Nine nothing, they did top four. Let's put this in perspective. The Dominican Republic roster makes $83.4 million in the major leagues. Gotcha. The Netherlands make $0.4 million. 2-1, the Netherlands do it again. Beat Dominican Republic twice in this tournament. Dominican Republic is eliminated. A true is David versus Goliath story. The Dominican national team was licking their wounds. Instead of being world champions as predicted, they were knocked out of competition by a European team, who themselves didn't even make it to the playoff round. The Dominican team had left their country disappointed, and the two million US Dominicans, and the hopes of other third world athletes. While the 2009 performance was an utter embarrassment, it would launch an epic redemption performance in the next classic. First and second, nobody out. He goes down the line. That is a base hit. Prado going to get it into the corner. Here comes Reyes. He'll score. Here comes Ibar. Being way tall. Double. Two RBIs. Two nothing. The eighth. That ball is launched. He knew it. Way back in left field. Hanley Ramirez. Goodbye, home run. One two delivery on the way. That's the one. Into the right field corner. Cruz will score. Santana will score. They need it. will stop at third. It's a two RBI double. Signs in order in the first inning. Grounded towards second base. Right there's one. Hey! 
mercy. There's two. Showtime. And you got Canelo and Reyes. You figure something like that's bound to happen. O2 delivery, and he got it. Well, it didn't take long. Did two delivery on the way, and really strikes 28 K's. 28 strikes, though. And he stays right there. And a strike on the inside. Ooh. Really fooled him. Bad cut for Alvarez. Two down. In the 2013 Classic, the DR swept their group stage handedly and continued to be undefeated in the second stage. Here's the 2 2. Robinson Cano, don't you know? to channel my inner John Sterling there for a moment. That's There's the knuckler hit in the air to left field and his way back. Goodbye, home run. Up into the second deck on the 427 foot side. 1-1. One, one. Julie Player who was around for a couple of years in L.A. Carlos Santana with a big blast out to right field. Oh, he ain't home a lot. The DR's on the board on a solo shot by Carlos Santana. The Dominicans were one game away from the championship. But before they could compete for the title, they would encounter a familiar foe. is a special presentation of the World Baseball Classic. And so we meet again. The last time we saw this matchup of teams, it was the upset of the 09 World Baseball Classic. The Netherlands sent the Dominican Republic home shamed and embarrassed. The Kingdom of the Netherlands is back, this time in the Final Four. And what they lack in big names, they replace with desire. Battling through the Asian pools, this team now comes into a comfortable AT&T Park, where its manager, Henley Mullins, has a full-time job. An even stronger team now, with the addition of the young superstar, Eurix and Profar, they're looking to go 3-0 and and into the final game. The Dominican Republic has been a machine. They have not lost a game, displaying clutch hitting, the long ball, and lights out relief. Robinson Cano is batting 519. Nelson Cruz, Carlos Santana, they've delivered as well. They plan to leave Wednesday morning as champions and not before. The only thing these teams want to leave in San Francisco is their hearts. The right to play for the trophy next. It has been a World Baseball Classic of upsets. Upsets. You know what? The Dominican Republic on paper right now is a huge favorite. But guess what? So was Japan last night. In this tournament this year, that means nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's all the Netherlands needs to hear to say, let it be us. Edison Bocas, a major league pitcher on the mound. Gary, we've talked many times about how the Dominican Republic wanted another opportunity at the Netherlands after they eliminated them back in 09. One of the losses for the Dominican Republic to the Netherlands team was recorded by Edison Volquez. He, too, is at the top of the list as far as wanting some revenge. So real important for him to set the table. Ducking down real low. Clearly coming to the plate, intending to take a couple of pitches, and he does up high on that one, 2 oak count. Well, I tell you another thing that's real important is for Volquez to get control of his emotions. You just think back to his last start against Italy when he walked the first three guys. First innings have been a real problem for him this year and before, and don't think the Netherlands doesn't know it. So they take another pitch, and it's up high, and the count goes to 3-0. and oh. He started against Venezuela, had a good first inning, but could not return. A rain delay took him out of the ballgame, and then, as Rick mentioned, against Italy, not a factor in a four and a third inning performance. He gave up the four runs, three hits, four walks, had a strikeout, and there's a leadoff walk to start the ball game. By that 2-1 changeup. Can do that to the youngsters once in a while as they get anxious up there at the plate, and the veteran pitcher did. Two ball, two strike count. Simmons off first. Profar waiting on it. That's going to get away, and the runner's going to move up. Uh, Ten had trouble finding it. Will hold the runner at second base, and the wild pitch puts a runner in scoring position. Guys, right there, and to me, right now, the only thing he can command is that changeup. 
That's what I would be looking for here on the 3 2 pitch. Tony Pena watching intently. Profar gets an RBI opportunity in his first at bat for the Netherlands, and a timeout will be taken. This Netherlands team has been about offense. The outfield very shallow on him. Will take the pitch away, and he gets a walk. So Volquez has walked the first two in this ball game. The infield again will play for the bunt here. Bernardino, the number three hitter. And Santana for the third time with three batters is going out. And the fans kind of booing here. And uh, Miguel Tejada will come in from third base. Do too much too early. Settle into the ball game. It's okay to give up a couple of hits in the first inning. Just kind of get your rhythm. The tempo that he sets for this game is just not good. Two ball, two strike delivery. Bernardino reaching for it. Glove down both ends. He'll go to first. Well, it works as a sacrifice unintended. He looked at second. Decided he didn't have time, and the runners move up. I tell you, I, I think what went through his mind right there was, look, I haven't been able to throw a strike. There's no telling where I'm going to make this throw to second base. But that ball has got to go to second base. It, it's an easy throw. He had plenty of time to make the play and keep the double play in order. It's a one-hopper right there. I mean, the base runner profile was only about halfway there. You don't try to get two. You just make sure that you get one. That's a huge mental mistake, but I think what Volquez was worried about was the physical part of it, that he couldn't make the throw. He looked afraid to throw exactly. baseball. Exactly. And a ground ball runner coming. Play is going to be made by Reyes over the first base to get the out. A run will score. The RBI, Valentin will get it. His fifth RBI of the Classic and a 1-0 lead for the Netherlands. And the only reason that he gets that RBI and the inning is not over was because of the fact that Volquez would not make that throw and get the force out at second base. We're a bit reluctant. Oh, down the line. Here's a ball put up in the air to left field. It'll be over near the line. Moise Sierra. And into the stands. And I think he's got it. He did. What a catch. Beautiful play by Sierra, who was not supposed to be starting in this game. He was inserted after batting practice. And if you needed a clutch hit, I think he's ready to go down to third. That is a fair ball. It'll roll into the bullpen up of the mound. Santana's on his way to second base. Sams will get it in, and there is a double, the first extra base hit of the ball game. One one strike count on him. Runner off second base. That ball is drilled down the line. That is a fair ball. That'll tie the game up. Santana will score. Throw comes into second. A double and an RBI for Sierra in a 1 1 ball game. Rally caps are on. On second base. Ground ball towards first. They pop with the play. Smith. Runner will move up. And there are two down. 3 2 delivery on the way, and a bloop that could fall in center. Bernadina can't get it. And a 3 2 single and an RBI. And Reyes gives the Dominican a 2 to 1 lead. Out of waiting. There goes the runner. Line drive almost took the head off the pitcher. Reyes will go to third. Bernadina will get it back in. Tejada's on with a base hit. Mark Rowe, as Rick said, his pitch is now around there again. So hard for me to understand when Miguel Tejada, at 38, 39 years of age, whatever it is, is the guy you have got to get out. You cannot let Robinson Cano come up in this inning. You have to do it. He gets one there. That's going to be a base hit. Takata will turn. Bernadina up. Throw's going to come to third. Run crosses. And the outs recorded at third base. So Cano trying to get the extra base to not. Arcanacion, though, will be credited with an RBI single. And for the Dominican, a big four-run fifth inning. And are they on their way to a championship game? Right now they are. Dominican Republic 4. The Netherlands. I don't think he's going to change anything, but I'll tell you what, that 35th year was a pretty good ride for a closer for the Tampa Bay Rays. And now, of course, Tony Pena's team. You can see that. They played six games. They've won six, and he saved five of them. Already a World Baseball Classic record. Andrew Jones. He'll take that off speed delivery for a strike. Jones Smith and Scope are due up for the Netherlands. They trail four to one, ninth inning. 
4 9 0 oh for the Netherlands. 1 4 1. made that play. Encarnacion was spinning like a top. He wanted nothing to do with it. Nelson Cruz couldn't get there. Strike count. And a foul tip into the mid. Here's the 2 2 delivery on the way. And that's the ball game. So Rodney, we've got a couple of strikeouts. He retires the side in order. The Dominican Republic will celebrate another win as they are 7-0. And they go to the championship game against Puerto Rico tomorrow night. And this team, which has done nothing but celebrate in this World Baseball Classic, will try and make it one more gigantic celebration tomorrow night. Well, Tony Payne just said it when this World Baseball Classic began that the roots of our ball club, the strength of our team is that bullpen, and he proved it once again. He got the five innings that he wanted out of the starter, and immediately he brought in Herrera for two. The victory over the Netherlands led the Dominicans to the championship game against their next door neighbors, Puerto Rico. The DR went on to win a 3 0 shutout off the arm of Samuel Daduno. Not only were the Dominicans world champions, but they were the first team to go undefeated in an entire World Baseball Classic, a feat which has yet to be matched. Jose and also Tony can chime in as well. Jose, uh, first of all, what did you tell the president of the Dominican Republic? Is that what you were just talking to? Yeah, yeah, no, he just wanted to say congratulations to us, you know, for the hell of a job that we did. I mean, we appreciate that for the president. I mean, we, we this wing is, it's all about Dominican Republic. I mean, you know, they, they was hungry waiting for this moment and, and we did it. You know, we give, we give everything that we have and we live on the field.